Today we are going to set up and use the Balladonia dovetail system to cut half blind dovetails for draw sides. First we take the jig out of the box. There is very little assembly required with just the front and top cam lock clamp handles to be attached to the jig. Make sure your jig is on a flat, non-slip surface. You can either screw it down to the bench top or as shown here, place it on the Balladonia non-slip mat to ensure it doesn't move when in use. Now we have to adjust the clamps that hold the workpiece in place. Put your horizontal workpiece into the jig and using the two adjustment knobs, adjust the clamp to sit approximately 2 to 3 millimeters above the workpiece. Test the cam lock clamp and adjust if necessary. Put your vertical workpiece in place and adjust the clamps as required. It's important that the clamp applies even pressure to both workpieces, so ensure the clamp is parallel to the workpiece once you have adjusted it. This can be done by eye. Next you need to adjust the depth of the comb over the vertical workpiece. The comb is held in place by the outside knobs at the back of the jig. Loosen these and slide the comb forward until it sits approximately 3mm back from the front of the workpiece. Here we are using a vernier gauge set to 3mm and checking each finger to make sure it is the same distance back. Tighten the rear outside knobs again to lock the comb into position. Starting with the horizontal stop, slide your horizontal workpiece past the end of the fingers. We must position the left hand side of the workpiece approximately in the middle of a finger. The right hand side of the workpiece should also terminate in the middle of a finger or a slot. It cannot end flush with the edge of a finger otherwise the joint will not work. Get a tri-square and set it flush with the back of the jig and move the side stop so it is square with your tri-square. Tighten the other clamping screw to lock the side stop into position. The most critical setup is that the vertical side stop is offset by exactly half an inch compared to the horizontal stop. To do this quickly, place a half inch spacer and clamp the horizontal workpiece in place. Here we have used a half inch chisel. Please remember the offset must be imperial half inch. Now slide the vertical workpiece up so that the edges are flush with the horizontal workpiece. The Balladonia dovetail jig has cutouts in the vertical clamp so that you can get to the side stop screws without having to remove the front clamp. Tighten the vertical side stop into position. Now it's time to run the test cut. Always use test pieces that are exactly the same thickness and width. The quickest way to set the timber is to clamp the horizontal workpiece under the comb. Then slide the vertical workpiece so it sits flush underneath the comb and square to the side stop. Once in position, unclamp the horizontal workpiece and push it up flush and square to the vertical workpiece. Always run the router from right to left on your cuts. This stops the router from pulling away in your hands, allowing greater control and a better cut on the workpiece. When you've run all the way from right to left, run the router back from left to right again to clean up the cut. You can now fit the workpiece together. There are two main adjustments, the depth of the cut and the tightness of the cut. As you can see, the depth of the cut is too great on this sample, so to fix this, adjust the fence on the jig towards you to reduce the depth of the cut on the horizontal workpiece. If it sits proud, then move the fence away from you and test the cut again. The other adjustment is the tightness of the cut. If the workpieces are too difficult to assemble, remember the simple rule, heighten to tighten and lower to loosen. Once you have got your sample workpiece assembled correctly, you can now start cutting your actual workpieces. The 12 inch jig can accommodate cutting two workpieces at the same time if they are narrow enough. Simply set the stops on both sides of the jig in the same way as shown before. To put two vertical workpieces into the clamp at the same time, put one piece in then press the clamp down halfway. You can still slide the second workpiece in place before locking the two into position. If the workpieces are too wide, then remember to alternate the sides of the jig you are using on the workpieces so that the offset when assembled lines up correctly. Once you have all four workpieces loaded against the stops and the clamps correctly, you can cut the tails and pins on all four workpieces at the same time.
After cutting the first set of joints, remove the two vertical work pieces and make sure you put them on the opposite sides of the jig and flip them around so the uncut ends are pointing away from you. When cutting the second set of joints, the work pieces need to be placed in the jig in a mirror image from the first set of cuts to ensure that the offsets line up in assembly. Now you can run your second set of cuts on all four work pieces. When removing the work pieces from the clamps, ensure that the two work pieces that have been machined together are assembled for the best fit. And there you have it, a simple, quick and effective way of producing draw sides. Some drawers use 19mm draw fronts and 12mm draw sides. To produce these, put your 19mm draw front horizontally in your jig with the 12mm draw side placed vertically. Adjust the comb back so that it is 3mm back from the edge of the vertical workpiece and bring the cutting depth fence forward to reduce the depth of cut to suit the 12mm draw sides. Run the router as you did before and assemble the drawer. Shown here is a simple but attractive remote control box produced from African mahogany offcuts to keep the coffee table neat. Stay tuned for more videos on the different templates available for the Balladonia dovetail system.